Good morning, folks. As we wrap up the week here, we'll take a look at space weather, earth weather, deep space news, and bring it right back home for the top story. But we begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding mostly calm except at the end, on the south, as a small central filament destabilizes and snaps. A good bit does fall down to the star. Some may have lifted. Either way, it will not produce a scary CME or anything like that. Solar flaring? Stalled. The rise upward seen yesterday is gone as the sunspot group kept opposing polarity sunspots from getting to know one another. The interaction that caused the small sea flares has disappeared as we've got split polarities laterally, negative wall in the center. Moving on, folks, that corona hole stream either missed our planet or that little blip is all we're getting. Earth's magnetic shield can handle that in his sleep, might have to in the future, but for now we're awaiting the next stream. Before that, however, there is a menacing polar corona hole extension on the north bleeding well into the southern hemisphere, incoming from the left. Time for an earthquake watch begins immediately. Up next, we kick way out to a white dwarf star 200 light years away. Their spectrometers picked up carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen in the atmosphere of the star. Discussions follow as to whether the whole universe is set up like this. Then we're going to ALMA. Not one month ago, one of the science team members there told me that if they get a good look at a young star system, they'll never miss a planet again. I'm starting to believe them. These photos are absolutely incredible, and they so closely match the theoretical model output, there's no question about the enormity of the orbiters creating those features. And now our top story. Folks, it looks like the methane fears from ocean hydrates is way, way overblown. You might remember when I said it would be nice if they remembered the temperatures at the bottom of the ocean. Well, they did, and much, much more. I can tell you honestly, I had no idea the methane fear-mongering was this overblown. Put all you want on the sea floor, it's not going anywhere. Anyway, so many folks in the U.S. are figuring out what our extreme swings are all about. You name it, it's happening. Tornadoes earlier this week are followed by major rain and flood and landslide concerns. Meanwhile, record heat gave way to record snow and ice coverage across a good part of the country. I'd love to tell you this is it for winter, but the Northeast and possibly Midwest still have a diabolical end to the season with how the upper level is settling in, and it actually arrived in the U.S. late. From Siberia across Asia and the Middle East, they've been breaking cold records for months, not just for time of year. Coldest temperatures ever recorded in some of these countries. Also, an unfortunate note, hailstorms took out dozens of homes in Zimbabwe and took the life of a child. We're in grind mode, getting ready for observing the frontier. We've talked to all the speakers, venue confirmations hit every checkbox. I cannot wait to see you in April. We'll have pressure and radar forecast, a null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.